So I've had the opportunity to chair the AEM Sustainability Council this year, which is a wonderful opportunity to get to work with all of the other companies in our industry to understand what are we all focused on within sustainability, what are those challenges, what do we see coming next, uh, and to really be able to share some of those best practices with each other. Organizations are thinking about where are they on their sustainability journey. Um, they can be thinking about what are those those areas or topics that are most important to their company and align the most with their own company and culture as well as their stakeholders, whether that be their customers, their employees, their shareholders, um, and, and really align with that in mind and give them an area to focus. So as companies are thinking about how do I advance next in their sustainability journey, uh, one thing that you can look at is AEM has a maturity model that will help you identify where are you in different parts of your sustainable, sustainability journey. And I think it's important to think about, you can progress at different paces in all of these areas. So the maturity model helps you to see, are you just starting out with compliance? Are you moving through leadership um, and into, into purpose? And you don't need to progress at all the same paces. You can find your own uh, position within there. The AEM provides two really important resources. The first is the people, the other AEM members, as well as the AEM staff. And then the second is resources. So uh, by attending AEM events or participating, you can network with other companies, you can understand what are they working on. And then looking at the resources, there is an online toolkit. It provides a maturity model to identify where you are right now. It also provides resources with links to other AEM tools or to external tools as well. I think AEM can help industry by continuing to promote the examples of what companies are already doing in terms of best practices as well as share those with others. Uh, I think they can continue to provide resources that we all can use to improve and um, really to provide opportunities for companies to network with each other as well. The AEM Sustainability Council is very valuable because it gives a chance for all the manufacturers from different parts of the industry as well to come together and have a common voice to influence and guide where the legislation has to go, where the technology goes, and where our members need to be working. The other part of it is where do we go next in terms of sustainability. And decarbonization has been in focus for a few years now. We have that pretty well figured out, at least we know the technologies that we need to make that happen. But what do we do with circularity? What do we do with recycling? What do we do with remanufacturing? What do we do with materials uh, that are hazardous and can't be reused? Uh, all those questions are going to come to the forefront for companies in this industry. To me, this council and what we're looking at in terms of figuring out, okay, which part of it do we need to, as, as an industry, address to bring us forward, I think is going to be a really good step forward. And that's what I'm looking for OEAM to kind of bring that together and get us a common position so we can take those next steps. And even if they're outside the purview of any one company, then we have at least a common voice. To I think one of the things that's going to be coming out with sustainability more and more is that you're not going to have a choice. These regulations are coming, the requirements are coming, the reporting requirements are coming. So if you sit back, you're going to get caught. At least what I'm looking for is, I think companies, we have to be on the front end of writing those regulations to make sure they work for us. It may be a regulation that works fine for the automotive industry, it may not work at all for trucking or off-road equipment. You know, I often talk about sustainability being the three Ps. You take care of the people, what they need and want. You take care of the planet, what it needs, but you've also got to take care of the profits and make sure we have a viable industry going forward.